Alright guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you three hottest tech house bass patterns, which you can hear in a lot of different tech house releases. Those are the most commonly used sounds and the patterns in tech house music. Okay guys, so let's start making our first bass sound. I have some drums and the kick, so we have a foundation. Yeah, really simple. And uh, I'm gonna be utilizing C Room to make a bass sound and let's use C Room. And let's start with the first oscillator guys. And um, yeah, we can start with a saw waveform that is one of my favorite waveforms for a tech house bass. So let's set our voicing into mono. So there's only one note which is playing at the time because when you are making a bass sound, you don't need more than one note playing at the time. And also legato. And uh, from here, we can start making our bass pattern. And um, so let's now draw the notes. One sixteenth. That's enough for the loop and maybe we can copy it to make another variation of the same loop. Now guys, let's tweak the patch. So uh, you want to select the waveform you'd like. So in this example, I'm using a uh, saw waveform. And now uh, let's add a bit of release because uh, if you don't add release lol, you're going to have those annoying clicks, which I've had if you've listened carefully. And now we're going to add some fat, some drive to make our bass sound sound fatter. Let's apply some side chain with the LFO tool. And now what we can do, we can use another envelope. So we're gonna drag and drop to the cutoff of the filter. Yeah, it's starting to get there. <laughs> now we can add some distortion. And now we can also add another waveform, wavetable. So let's maybe... We can add some attack to make it sound a bit softer. And one more important thing, guys, when you are making a bass in C Room, don't forget to set the random to zero so you start off with the same phase. This one is really important because you don't want to mess with the phase of your kick and bass. Yeah, I think I like this loop, so let's just copy and paste it. In Tech House, 
the loops are usually not that long so it can be one or two bars even so if you make a variation if you add some notes that's even cooler yeah and we can loop this guy here yeah it's already sound good it's already sounding good and we can maybe add some maybe some fm just see if that works because it's not usually the best thing you can do sometimes you don't need to use fm without FM I think we can do something like that and so we can control the amount of FM but I want to keep it without FM so next step is to add some compression Short attack, a uh, short, a long attack, and short release time. Yeah, and here we are. We've got that first. And here we are, guys. We are done with our first tech house base pattern. And basically, for this kind of tech house base you want to do shorter notes so it's punchy and you want to have gaps between your notes and you can use basically any notes here you can, can stick to the key the root note of your track and I usually just add like a half half step here it creates that nice tension in tech house I think it sounds really good yeah so basically we are done with the first one and now guys let's create the next patch and the next patch is also one of the most iconic, the most commonly used tech house bases. So I'm gonna copy this guy. And we can, I think, just initialize and do the same thing. And for the second base, I'm gonna use another another wave table, like a waveform. And I'm gonna use a square. Let's see if we have square. And now we can add some notes here. So in this example, let's use F. Yep, so we've got F. Now let's Add a filter. Yeah, we can copy it here. Mono, again, the voicing should be mono. Here we can add, uh, let's say, another square. Should be, should be here somewhere. Yeah, so here we've got nice square. And I just want to change the note. And 
maybe we can use another note. Yeah, that sounds cool to me. Okay, and now let's work with the patch a little. And this type of bass, guys, is really simple because you have a note which is playing like all the time. It's consistent here, so it's not punchy like, like that. We have a note which is playing all the time, but it changes over the time. But yeah, this kind of bass has a lot of sustain. And what we can do, we can yeah, let's add some release. And you want to add a lot of sustain. And I want to add some glide as well. So let's use portamento and serum. And mono legato always. And what you can also do, you can add a second envelope to the filter and you can control it so it opens just a tiny bit. Ah, it doesn't sound really good, but th there's just an option I wanted to show you guys. If you'd like, you can do that. Maybe we can add some attack. And in case you don't want to use glide, it's going to work better. Let me show you. And we can add some distortion as well. And let's listen together with the kick and with the drums. Yeah, I think it sounds better without the glide. So let's keep it as it is. Yeah, guys, so we've made a second Tech House iconic bass. And now let's create the last one. And I'm going to use Serum here again as well. And for that kind of bass, I'm going to do the same thing, set the synthesizer in mono. But in this, in this case, I'm going to use very short decay time. And I want to use analog bass drum synthesizer. And I'm going to show you. So this one is like a percussive 8 high 8 kind of bass line. And for that kind of bass, uh, you're going to need a sign. And I'm going to go to global or to, to matrix, I'm sorry. And you want to select LFO 1 and destination. You want to go to global and select master tuning. And LFO 1, let's set it's an envelope to the envelope mode and I'm gonna turn off the BPM mode so we can adjust the speed manually and your bass should sound let me show you let's bypass the previous one And now let's create that pattern. And for that pattern, guys, uh, you want to use And 
this is basically it. As you can see, it sounds like a kick, but we can play around with the envelope, make it longer. Because the lower is your sustain, the snappier, the punchier your bass will be. So for example, we can add some distortion. We can add some more decay time, or we can just make the notes longer. And yeah guys, this is it. As you can see, it's really, really simple. Uh, for this kind of bass, you just need one oscillator. You can play around with the waveforms. So for example, let's choose, just to show you guys, we can use a square. Yeah, basic shapes. And a square and a filter. We, we wanna cut a lot of higher frequencies. And you can make it shorter. But yeah, basically it's the same idea. I've just changed the waveform or we can just add another waveform here. Like a square. Oops. But basically here the groove comes from using 16th mode. So in Ableton, you can click uh, on the grid and uh, triplet grid. And as you can see, guys, I'm using those 16th note triplets. And this is what creates that nice groove, like that nice swing. If I would use just regular 16th notes, let's listen now. It doesn't sound the same. Now it, it sounds good. So yeah guys, we've made three iconic tech house bases plus the patterns. Those sounds will be available for download. You can download those presets for free. I will leave a link uh, in the description and in the comments as well. And uh, this is it for today guys. Before I end with the video, I want you to do a couple of things. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment below uh, with your feedback. Maybe you want to connect with me. That is also absolutely fine. And you are welcome to do that. Uh, I'd like to talk to you. And uh, don't forget about that nice little bell icon so you trigger the algorithm and this will help the channel to grow a lot. And finally, guys, don't forget to subscribe uh, to follow my Instagram profile. I'll post videos, uh, news, and uh, yeah, everyday content. And that is a nice way if you want to get to know me better and uh, connect with me. Because there are a lot of interesting things which I've planned and which are coming soon. So stay tuned for those. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.